about to make the first test. Success at last, Death Troll. By tomorrow, the United States shall be ours. How to shoot. Read them and wait, fellas. I got a... Did all your cash just do the big flash? When I find out who did this... Attention, citizens! Due to the financial irresponsibility and incompetence of your leaders, Cobra has found it necessary to restructure your nation's economy. Restructure your nation's economy. We have begun by eliminating the worthless green paper. Eliminating the worthless green paper, which your government has deceived you into believing, is valuable. After studying and forecasting trends for nearly 30 years, Salenti is now saying the U.S. economy will totally collapse. The bailouts, the stimulus plans, he says they won't work. They're only delaying the inevitable. Economic Armageddon. You can't print money based on nothing. It's not even Economics 101, it's Economics for Dummies. Salenti says we will see worse than the Great Depression for several reasons. Cobra will come to your rescue, and out of the ashes will arise a new order. Cobra's got us basting over a fire. And time is on their side. With every passing day, the economy sinks deeper into chaos. The economy sinks deeper into chaos. So Cobra Commander just has to sit back and wait for the country to fall into his hands. Citizens of the United States, I am pleased to announce Cobra's economic recovery plan. If you want money to buy food for your children, take all your valuables to the nearest branch of Extensive Enterprises. There, all goods will be exchanged for Cobra Currency. I have been among the most vocal advocates for a new global reserve currency to replace the U.S. dollar. To discuss the issue, we are now joined live from London by Dr. Gerard Lyons, Chief Economist and Group Head of Global Research at Standard Chartered Bank. Dr. Lyons, thank you for joining us. Several countries, including Russia and China, have called for a new global reserve currency. Do you believe that central banks across the world would really drop the dollar and diversify? Well, the best way to think of it is that they are interested in an alternative to the dollar, but not just yet. The way I call it is passive diversification. These countries, Russia, China included, their central banks don't actively want to sell the dollar because it's not in their best interest to do so. But what we're seeing is what I call passive diversification. When they get more money, they're putting less and less of it into the dollar. So there is a sort of underlying shift away from the dollar, but it doesn't imply that they're selling the dollar aggressively just yet. But the best way to think of it is a ticking time bomb. At some stage, the dollar will fall sharply. At some stage, the dollar will fall sharply. At some stage, the dollar will fall sharply, partly because of what the central banks do, partly because of what's happening in the wider economy, but not just yet.